Ladies and gentlemen, welcome, welcome, welcome to Don't Argue Podcast. Hope you guys are well. Thanks again for tuning in. I appreciate it very, very much. Yes, welcome to another edition of Frio Dockers Chat. But before I get into it, before I get into it, hit that intro. All right, guys, here we go, right? We we walk into the lion's den, or so, so to speak, the lion walks into our den, obviously us hosting as third place Frio against the Brisbane Lions or second place. Uh, obviously, both these teams have had somewhat of a consistent season, but at the same time, also not consistent in their own sort of way. Uh, you know, most, most uh, noticeably, Fremantle losing, obviously, two in a row, to uh, the Suns and then and Collingwood, and then following it off with a historic win over the D's, breaking their, I believe, was 17 game win streak. And obviously, the Lions at the same time, though they've been going strong, there's been patches where they haven't been too good, actually. And one noticeable game was when they lost recently to the Hawks. So, again, things are, you know, up and down for both these teams. But in saying that, you can't argue they're definitely two of the stronger teams in the competition. Now, in saying that, as we host the Lions, we. I guess we, we should feel confident, in my opinion, anyway. We should feel confident in the sense that we beat the Ds over the, the MCG. A very awesome, beautiful, sensational win. Yes, throw all those good words there. Now, we host the Lions, and, and I've said it again. They're a team, you know, yes, consistent enough. Yes, being second place, they are. But at the same time, I, I walk into this game here feeling somewhat optimistic, um, it's it, look. It, even if we were to walk into the Gabba, I think I'd feel the same. To be fair, when you beat the D's, you sort of come away with with uh, more armor, so to speak. You know, more confidence, more of a boost. And now the Lions coming over here, we we got to understand too. At the same time, there's a lot of pressure, I guess, for them to really try and beat us. Um, much like us beating the D's, I think for them beating. Fremantle is their sort of, you know, Melbourne moment, so to speak. And I'm not saying well Melbourne, but you get what I mean. This is a big task for them, especially being home. Uh, I was also looking at our previous couple of meetings too. So uh, from uh, 2018, they they beat us 64 to 119. 2019, we, we beat them by one point. I remember that game as well. Um, that was the game where uh, where Neil went over and played, um, you know, for the Lions. And it was, a, it was good to get that win there. 2020, we lost 81 to 69. 2021, 95 to 71. And then uh, to, uh, 2021 again, the same year, 54 to 118. So it has not been too kind to us, actually. We've, we've actually, well, you know, in the last couple of years, we've only been them once, realistically. Now, again, 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 these big news surrounding that Fife and, and him potentially returning. So if he does return, is that a big addition to our squad yes you bet you there's no ifs or buts there better not be any arguments simple as that again you got the the young players as, as well who'll be picking confidence the, the the thing about being a team like like melbourne especially from a collective standpoint as a team is uh you, you get so much confidence from it. and i touched on it before but the reality is from the backs to the midst of the forwards everybody's is you're you're on a good high but but i guess as long me was said and I think I want to try and sort of direct it as well at the same time. Uh, as much as he was happy about the win, he said at the same time too. It's, it's We've got to relax because, you know, we, we can get too ahead of ourselves and, and things start unbuckling. And then we sort of saw it in the last prior two games. But I, in saying that, like I said, I, I'm actually pretty feeling pretty optimistic about this game here. I'm, I understand that Lions have a good mid as well as a forward you know, pack, uh, especially with the likes of Pipwood back, obviously Raynor, obviously Neil. Uh, in my honest opinion, they're, they're just a very good team overall. But uh, like I said, I, I do have genuine confidence in the boys that we can get the job done. Um, there's just something about Fremantle, especially in that Melbourne game that I noticed too, in the sense that when the going gets tough, besides the point when it's raining, all right, I, I must, I must, uh, you know, uh, disclaimer, you know, P.S., you know, apart from when it's raining. When when things get tough, we, we actually seem to really adapt well to whatever it is that happens. Now, we don't lose concentration. We don't lose focus. We we somehow build. We, we somehow 
lay a platform, lay bricks. We we build foundation upon foundation upon foundation, and and that's what I found that that really sort of solidifies us as a team, and that's the reason why we're third in the ladder. We just somehow adapt to the challenges at, at hand. Case in point, obviously against the D's, particularly in that second quarter when D's just came up and just mounted and they were very aggressive, and then we came out in the second half and. To be fair, we were just a different team. It it was as if what the D's had done didn't affect us. We focused in on our game plan. We nullified their weaknesses. And, and I get it. I understand that Melbourne, there were some injuries. And I get it. But hey, injuries happen. You know, people can look at us and say injuries here, there. But you got to remember, we're missing <laughs> arguably the greatest player of all time to play for Fremantle on our team. And does he make a difference? Yes, he does. And if you, th- and if you don't think he does... I hope he proves you wrong this Sunday, you know, but in saying that, I, I'm i pretty confident. I I feel like I've sort of mumbled and jumbled here and there, but but I guess yeah, if, if you can sort of string everything I'm trying to say, the point is, yes, Lions, we host them. Yes, it hasn't been good for us historically, but this is a different Fremantle team. This is a different Fremantle team, and I feel genuinely confident that we can get the job done here. I feel like we have all the momentum I feel like we have all the upright, we have all the progression. I, I generally feel like we are the better team. And, and again, I can say all these things, and then all of a sudden the umpire bounces the ball and it just goes away and we end up looking like fools. I get it. I'll be honest with you, if you checked out my son's uh you know, the the, the son's preview there, I, I, I think I probably fall flat on my face there. But 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 in saying that I do genuinely, genuinely feel good about this one here. But in saying that, you know, give me your thoughts. You know, what what do you think? You know, I, I just think I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid. And in fact, I welcome the Lions then. I welcome the Lions then. Anyway, give me your thoughts. Thank you again for watching. Take it easy. See you guys next time. And uh, Lions, Brisbane Lions, you're coming to Optus. And guess what? It ain't going to look good. Don't argue.